In the meantime, the Joint Committee of the House of Representatives on Finance and Banking investigating alleged revenue leakages in government agencies between 2004 and 2019 has summoned the Executive Chairman of the Federal Inland Revenue Service. The invitation followed a meeting between the lawmakers and the chief executives of some banks on Monday. The legislators queried the banks for alleged inconsistencies in the remittances of taxes expected to enter into government coffers. The committee requested one of the banks to furnish it with details of a $927 transaction involving it and the government. Money has been brought in in the form of capital importation. 10 years, 15 years, and there has not been any repayment. Which means that money in, in the first instance calls to question. It could be part of our looted funds that were taken out of this country and now being brought in through capital importation. And so if the bank has no responsibility as to the usage, then it will continue. We will continue to have this problem. So I, will I thought that as they are coming, they should have come with everything which they say they have submitted. So this one that I keep, they keep saying, who submitted, who submitted, and they, they know they are appearing before us. Are they not supposed to have come? So I think that simple logic demands that they, they should come. You have a copy of what you sent to us. We submitted evidence of, of uh, capital importation. We cannot pay dividend without evidence of capital importation. So we submitted the supporting documents. I think we still go back to the same issues we've been dragging. We need all the condition precedent, all those documents yes. for the same. They are, they are there. No, they are not there. I don't okay. say they are, they are there.